morning you guys and welcome or welcome back to another video my name is grace if you are new here and i'm a junior at the university of missouri and i just like filming vlogs for you guys and kind of a day in my life and all of that fun stuff so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing today as well i woke up had my whole morning and i decided not to film all of it because I feel like it's just getting repetitive on here. You guys have seen my morning, my skincare, everything like that. So, so I've already done my skincare. I did an arm workout this morning and I just got done with class. It's now 12 and I'm going to go to Starbucks and do some homework. I'm actually having some trouble saving my video that needs to go up today. I've had it. I've been editing it for like a week now and it's such a long video, but it's so good. You guys, I'm so excited for you to watch it, but I've been having some trouble saving it to my files because it's such a long video it's an hour long so i need to figure out how i can save that big of a file because i'm kind of new with the whole computer stuff so i haven't really had to figure that out yet because this is my first hour long video like it is so long but it is a week in my life so there's a lot i wanted to add into it and i'm so excited and happy with the way that it turned out and i know that you guys are going to love it as well so if you guys haven't seen that video it should hopefully be up um probably two videos before this one so make sure to go watch it but i need to figure out how to upload that when i get to starbucks i have a couple more assignments due for this week but not that many i have a pretty chill week when it comes to schoolwork um so i'm really just focused on getting some youtube stuff done editing some tiktoks and all of that kind of stuff so i just wanted to take you guys along today i actually have a facial today at four which i'm so 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 excited about i have not gotten a facial since january over christmas break so i'm so excited i remember when i got it i loved my skin like the whole few weeks after i feel like it was so glowy i got a hydrofacial in january which this one is going to be a customized one that's what i um, made my appointment for but I feel like I can kind of just say the things that I'm looking for and I might even just say I kind of want just a hydrofacial because that's what I got last time and I loved it I'm telling you guys facials make the biggest difference I swear and if I had the money and the resources to get one every month I so would but this is actually a gift card from my birthday that I haven't used yet so I just decided to make my appointment for this week I had actually tried to make it for two weeks ago um, and I had my appointment booked and everything for the week vlog that I actually just posted. I was supposed to get my facial that week, but that week ended up being crazy busy. So I rescheduled it for today and I'm so excited. So I'm obviously going to be taking you guys along for that as well. And then I also am wanting to style some of my outfits for New York City in this video because I'm leaving in one week from today for New York with my mom. We're having a little girls trip and I'm so excited. You guys know if you know me i love new york it is my absolute favorite place on the planet and i'm so excited because i feel like when i've been to new york before it's been kind of touristy like we were wanting to do all the touristy things and i feel like i never really truly got to just be there and kind of experience life there and i feel like this trip with me and my mom we've already seen all of the crazy you know like must see things there and i feel like now I'm gonna be able to just kind of chill out and kind of see what it's like to live there. We're obviously gonna go to so many coffee shops. I wanna take so many walks in Central Park. And I honestly wanna look around the neighborhoods there and see where I would potentially want to live, which is crazy. I feel like in two years, I'm hopefully gonna be living there. And I'm hoping that we can look around and see what the best neighborhood is kind of the areas that are safer because obviously that's a main priority of mine and I'm of course going to be vlogging that whole trip I'm so excited my mom is so excited and I just can't wait so that is in one week from today today's Wednesday so that's crazy it kind of came up so fast I feel like I just booked the flights for it but I feel like these past few months especially October has flown by so much and it's currently November 2nd which Merry Christmas to all of you guys who celebrate it right after Halloween, but but I'm really excited for November. I feel like it's going to be a much more low-key month for me. October was filled with lots of going out, which has been so fun, but I just need a break and my liver needs a break. So I'm really excited to just get back into a routine, eating much healthier, working out like I used to be, and all of that fun stuff. So And then obviously Thanksgiving is this month, so I'm so excited to go home, spend time with family, and I just love Thanksgiving. So I'm really excited for that and and yeah, lots of fun stuff coming our way, lots of fun vlogs. I'm going to be vlogging a lot over the holidays when I'm at home because I actually feel like I'm at home for 
so much longer than the average person for Christmas break because I don't have any finals. So I'll be home early December and I'm gonna be doing a ton of holiday vlogs and holiday activities because Christmas time is my favorite and I'm so excited. So I don't know why I always do 10 minute intros, but I just wanted to say hello. Welcome back to another video. I think this is just gonna be a daily vlog. I might take it in two more days this week, but probably not because I find that the longer the video, the more harder it is to edit. Like it takes me a lot longer and it's harder to export and all of that stuff. So I would rather do shorter vlogs like daily vlogs rather than like week of my lives and like like many days in a row because i feel like i kind of lose track of like where i'm at with vlogging when i do that so but let me know because it's obviously you guys watching and if you like the week of my lives then i will obviously continue to do those so just let me know if you like the longer vlogs or like the shorter day in my life couple day in my life videos because it's obviously up to you guys and i will do whatever you guys Want me to do but i'm gonna head over to starbucks now and do some homework and i heard that the holiday drinks are coming back either today or tomorrow but i really hope it's today because i really want a sugar cookie latte comment down below if you guys tried that last year when it came out the sugar cookie almond milk latte i think is what it was called and it had like sprinkles on top so good i remember the sugar cookie syrup being so good and i'm so excited for it to come back but i am looking and i don't think they're out till tomorrow which maybe I'll just have to go buy Starbucks tomorrow too to get that drink because holiday drinks are just so good, you guys, and I'm so excited. But it's okay, I think I'll just stick with my one pump of pumpkin sauce and my vanilla latte for now because I still love that and I feel like I haven't even soaked up the pumpkin season enough, so maybe I should hold back on the Christmas for a couple weeks. But, but I'm gonna head over to Starbucks, do some homework, and hopefully figure out how to export my hour-long video because i really want to get it up today and i literally posted it on my instagram last night that it would be up this morning and it's already past the morning so i feel like i'm failing you guys but i'm going to hopefully figure that out and get it up for you guys and all of that <laughs> got in my car i'm about to leave for my facial it's like 3 30 now i went home i ate a little snack my favorite snack ever honestly like kind of lunch too i eat it as lunch like all the time um i'll do a big green apple with peanut butter and then sometimes i'll have an apple crisp apple but green apples are just superior and then i'll do pretzel crisps like the thin wide pretzels um and i'll eat it with laughing cow cheese I'm telling you guys, best combination ever. It honestly fills me up so much. And it is so good and I never get tired of it. I've been eating it since I was in high school and I'm still eating it. So there's a little snack idea for you. I forgot to vlog it, but the next time I make it, I will show you guys um, what I mean. But you guys just have to try it. It's literally 65 degrees outside and I'm sweating. I'm sorry, I have to turn the air on what i mean when i say missouri weather is bipolar it was if you remember my last vlog um or like two vlogs ago it was like 38 degrees i had to wear a vest and i needed a coat but i didn't have my coats like it was that type of weather like gloves and everything and now i'm sweating outside in a sweater so if that tells you anything about missouri's weather i'm so annoying it's november and i want it to be cold now whereas this weather would have been fine for like october but this is what it does. It will like switch months on when it wants to be warm or cold. And it's like opposite of what it should be, so. But it's a very nice day outside. I can't really complain. I'm just hot, so. I'm about to go to my facial. I'm not sure if I was supposed to have a bare face when I go in. I'm not, like, I can't remember what I did for my last one. I feel like my facial was in the morning that day. So I didn't have anything on my face, but now it's been like a whole day. So I had to do my skincare. Um, but I feel like I should have probably washed it off. But I'll just ask her when I get there and she can always wash it off. But I'm so excited. I have not gotten a facial in months and I cannot wait. I just know that it's going to feel so good. And I honestly might take a nap while she's doing it because I remember last time it was so relaxing. Like I could definitely take a nap during it. So 
maybe I will squeeze a little nap in there, but I'm really, really excited. I just feel like my skin is gonna feel so good these next few weeks after getting it, and uh, I'm just so excited. I've been waiting to use this gift card for so long, and I finally am. And I'm so excited. So I'm, so I'm gonna go get my facial. I honestly have a ton of returns to make, but I think I'm just gonna do all that tomorrow. Like I have some Target returns and some other returns at the mall, but I think I'm just gonna go tomorrow. I might continue this vlog into tomorrow because I know I want to show you guys my New York City outfits, which I'm just definitely not gonna get around to that today, but tomorrow I am planning on styling them. So I'll vlog during that and then maybe like running errands or something so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna come home probably make dinner i kind of just want to have a cozy night in i have no homework no setting to do my video is uploading now as we speak it is it was saying it has two hours and 30 minutes left so who knows when that's going to be fully uploaded but once it is i'm going to actually just put it on public tonight so that it's up there for you guys instead of waiting till the morning because i originally was gonna just wait till tomorrow morning to post it because i just for some reason thought that posting in the morning people will watch it more but i feel like no matter when i post you guys will still watch it so i'm just gonna post that tonight hopefully when it's uploaded and then yeah i just want to have a closing night and maybe watch a movie or something i don't know um but i'm just really excited to have a chill night with nothing to do so i'm gonna go to my facial and i will talk to you guys after and see what my skin looks like hopefully very glowy i also just posted this little dump on instagram of some pictures from october and it's so cute you guys i feel like it was such a good month and the vibes were just there so if you guys don't follow me on instagram it is just at grace frank Meyer, and i love posting just like dumps and here was my halloween costume selfie um i just love posting like dumps and pictures that i take throughout my life and i just think it's such a fun idea yeah, if you don't follow me it's linked down below as well um but yeah i love instagram and i'm always posting on here like on my stories <laughs> this my this mariah carey tiktok literally was sending me yesterday it's so funny it's my favorite thing when she posts like a tiktok on halloween night and like november 1st and it's like Christmas time. It's so funny. And then I'm always posting when I upload on here on my Instagram. I always will put it on my story. And then, yeah, I'm just like always posting little stories throughout the day. So if you guys want to see more of my content in real time, then, then give me a follow on Instagram. And I also am posting all the time on TikTok, actually. And I'm almost at 10K on TikTok, which is crazy. And I'm always posting on here, too, like mini vlogs and just other days in my life that i don't vlog on youtube i'm posting on here most likely so make sure to follow me on here as well if you don't but i just had to give that shameless self promo because i feel like you guys would like my content on these two platforms if you like my youtube videos so yeah you guys i just got done i'm looking pale and hydrated i feel like my skin looks really good she didn't necessarily explain each step she did so i'm not really sure um what kind of facial it technically was i feel like some of the steps that she did was like my hydrofacial that i got but then some of the steps um my girl that did it at home at this other place she didn't do so i'm not really sure um technically what type of facial it was but it felt really good and my skin looks pretty glowy and i'm happy with it she said to not wash my face tonight and to sleep with a clean pillowcase which i always do i change my pillowcases like every single day i swear because i'm not changing your pillowcases is what's going to cause acne at least for me um i find that anytime that i get a new pimple it's either because of one my period or two because i realized that i didn't clean my pillowcases after each like sleep like i'll flip my pillowcase over to the other side once i've slept on one of the sides just because i don't feel like you should be sleeping on it twice in a row because your skin just holds so much bacteria even if you wash your face at night it still has so much like gross stuff i feel so and also your hair like molecules and like from your hair products all that is going on to your pillowcase when you sleep so it's just really important to keep it clean 
Um, I don't know why I keep messing with my hair. It's just kind of gross today, but I don't wanna, but I don't wanna wash it till tomorrow because tomorrow's my cardio day and I already washed it last night because yesterday was also um, 12, 3, 30 today. So I can't really wash it now because if you wash your hair too much, especially when you get it done, the color comes out a lot and I just find that my hair likes it better and will grow faster whenever I don't wash it a ton. So, oh, my low fuel is on. I always let it get to the last second before I go get gas. So now I have no option. I am probably gonna ask for another facial for Christmas just because I love it. And I feel like it's a great form of self care and why not treat yourself once in a while? I'm not gonna get like one every month, like I was saying, but I will get one like every few months because why not? I love getting them and it's a great Christmas gift to ask for along with like a massage. If you guys like getting like massages or, all right, the sun is coming in hot right now, but what I was saying is if you guys like getting facials and like massages and all that kind of thing or getting like a pedicure, definitely ask for that for Christmas because I feel like people don't ever think about asking for experiences for like gifts, but I think it's a great idea, especially when you don't know what to ask for in specific. You can always ask for money to go get your nails done or a gift card or something like that. Okay, you guys, I'm extremely lazy and decided I'm just gonna get a salad from here for dinner. I think I've showed you guys what salad I get from here. It's the barbecue chicken, chipotle barbecue chicken salad, and it's so good. It has um, like romaine lettuce, spinach, barbecue chicken, um corn it usually has beans but i get no beans and i get no cilantro because i hate cilantro um and i sometimes like beans but not in a salad and then it has ranch dressing so obviously not the healthiest but if i'm gonna eat a salad it has to be like good so i think i'm gonna run in here and get that for dinner and then go home shower and just have a chill night so i just wanted to show you guys because i was planning on making dinner like a healthy dinner with some of the groceries that i bought but you know what i just decided that i am lazy and it's already six so i don't really want to go home and make a big mess for dinner so i'm just gonna get a salad from here okay guys i just showered and lotioned up i'm already wearing my christmas pjs because i can't be stopped and these are just the most comfortable silk pjs ever they are awesome and i will try to link them down below if they're still available i got them during christmas time last year from victoria's secret so i assume that they will have the same kind of style for this year but i will try to find them for you guys my face is a little red because i take steaming hot showers you guys i do not play around with baths or showers like the temperature has to be steaming hot or i won't get in it it just has to be steaming hot that's just how i like it that's how my mom used to bathe when she was little when i would like take baths with her did anyone else do that like take a bath with your mom but her bath water would always be steaming hot so i got used to it from a very young age but my first instinct is to do skincare but she said not to do any tonight but i'm like i feel like i'm gonna wake up and my skin's gonna be super dry if i don't do anything but i did get it a little bit wet in the showers because i was like i can't go to bed with like just this oiliness so i just like put some water like splash some water on my face and then like tap dried it so i can still feel the products were on my face so i'm not worried about it but I guess I'm just gonna go the night without my skincare, which is really weird for me. That's what you're supposed to do when you get a facial because they put so many products on your face. So, so I guess I'm not gonna do any skincare. I think I'm just gonna get into bed and watch a show or something and edit some TikToks. I have a few that I wanna post today and tomorrow. And my week in my life that I was talking about actually just went live on my channel and I'm so excited. It is one of my favorite vlogs ever and i finally got it to upload so the one hour week of my life is up if you guys haven't watched it yet make sure you go watch it after this video it is so good i show like everything in my life in that vlog i have like a grocery haul my skincare workouts my party life um just so much i feel like it's in that vlog and i just love it so i feel like the biggest reason i love it is because a lot of my friends are in it which is so fun you guys get to see like them in action if that makes sense because I feel like they're in a lot of this vlog, so go watch that one if you have not watched it, but I'm gonna get into bed. Maybe I'll start editing the next vlog to get ahead because like I said, next week I'm going to New York and I'm probably not gonna edit a ton while I'm there, but I know on the plane I'll be able to edit some, so.
Hey you guys, I've just been in bed reading more of this book, um, A Verity by Colleen Hoover. It's really, really good so far. I'm on chapter four and it's really good. I feel like it's gonna be kind of suspenseful for some reason and um, like I've talked about before, I like the suspenseful mixed with romance vibe, so I'm really excited to keep reading it. It's around nine. I just posted a new TikTok and I'm gonna hopefully go to bed early tonight because I was really tired today. I didn't go to bed last night until like midnight or so, which is really late for me. So I'm gonna probably go to bed soon-ish, but I wanted to come on here and say goodnight. And I forget the name of the leggings in the bra. Okay, good morning, you guys. I just woke up a little bit ago and did a, I just did like a Pilates yoga stretch situation because I'm gonna actually go to the gym later and do 12, 3, 30 after my class gets done at two. Um, so I just wanted to get a little movement in this morning. I just did some skincare and I'm about to get dressed and eat some breakfast before class. But I got an aloe package in yesterday and i'm so excited i ordered a set from them because i haven't tried this new probably not new but i haven't tried this line of theirs yet and i really wanted to try it out because i feel like i've been seeing it all over tiktok um it's their airlift line which i have their black leggings in the airbrush line i think it is i like them but they're definitely not as much of a workout fit to me um, as these will feel so I'm really excited to try these out. This is more of a spandexy um, Kind of like the Lululemon Wonder Under that I have and I love those so I'm really excited to try these out because I find myself not reaching for my aloe ones as much because of the material I get kind of hot if I'm doing like a 12 to 30 or something like that. So I wanted to order a set and I can just tell the fit of it and the material is gonna be so good so I got it in a cute brown color and of course I ordered it like three days before the sale. I'm so mad. I always do that. I swear they were having a 30% off like for three days and my mom actually snagged me a set or two for Christmas though. So I'm going to be having that coming. Here are the leggings. They are more of a spandexy material like I said and the airbrush ones that I have are kind of like the Lululemon aligns, but not even as comfortable as those. So I'm thinking these are gonna be better for me working out wise. And then, and then the top is obviously the same material and color. It is the color cinnamon brown. And I got this in a size small and I was gonna get these in an extra small, but they were out of the extra small. So I just tried a small on them. So I'm hoping these will fit good. I know that people say to size down in aloe leggings because they run big but I'm just hoping that these will fit good enough for right now. I think I'm gonna try this on and honestly probably wear it to class so I can just go straight to the gym after and I'll probably just throw a little pullover or something. Okay, here it is on, it's super cute, fits really well. I had to loosen the straps though, like all the way because um, they were really tight like on my shoulders. I feel like I have like a more of a broader chest area but i really like it it's really cute really pretty color and i feel like this is gonna be really good to work out in the material is very breathable and super cute so i'm really excited to wear this i think i'm just gonna wear this today with a little pullover or something and then go straight to the gym after my class because i need to do that but hey i just made a little breakfast i had to split this piece of sourdough in half because they're too big to fit in the toaster and then i just put peanut butter on it and then i'm gonna have a banana as well i'm kind of running late so i didn't really have time to make my avocado toast or like a smoothie bowl or anything so and i've actually been really into peanut butter toast recently i go in phases with what foods that i like and this has been hitting recently so i'm gonna eat this and then head to class okay guys i'm back from class and it's time to style some outfits for new york city i'm so excited i have a few in mind like i was saying that i want to hopefully wear but i just need to see it like visually on me um so i'm first gonna try to style an outfit with this coat that i showed you guys from zara that i recently got it's just a little wool long lapel coat is what it's called on the website i think and it kind of goes to my knees so I'm going to try to first do an outfit with this. I'm thinking jeans in either my New Balance sneakers or my Ugg boots, but kind of depending on what I put underneath the jacket, I will choose the shoes. But let's try to style first with this jacket and I'll show you guys. Okay, first potential look. 
I just put it on with a little Aritzia short sleeve that is cropped and then my Levi's dad jean and then I don't know how to feel you guys I feel like it's good like it could definitely work and the only reason I did a short sleeve was because the weather is like 50s and 60s it's saying for next week there so it's not going to be super duper cold to where I need like a jacket and this or like even a sweater underneath this I think I would be too hot I don't know I have some other tops I can try on with it but I had a vision for like this color of grayish white underneath so that's why I put this on and I feel like the shoes low-key pull it together I feel like I could definitely make it work and then I'm planning on bringing these two bags and I can't decide I think the black looks better with this outfit just because this has so many brown shades that it's kind of giving too much but I mean should I I guess I could try it on with other pops but it's hard because like obviously the coat is the main like what your eyes are going to go to like it's the main staple of the outfit so you don't really need like something crazy underneath hmm okay i just put it on with my new cuts tee and i think i like it better with this just a little white crop um short sleeve so i'm not going to be super hot again with this so this could definitely work i think i like it better definitely with the whole the solid white and then the shoes black bag black sunglasses yeah i think this is a look and again the main like focus is the coat so i'm not super worried about what's underneath it it's mainly just about like what the coat looks like so these jeans are so good you guys i will link them down below i got them on revolve but i know that they have them on amazon and they're actually on my amazon storefront too if you guys are looking to buy them i think these are a size i think i sized up to a 27 or a 28 in these um just so that they're super oversized and like loose on my waist so if you guys are wanting these jeans i will link down below for you guys they're awesome perfect dad jean for the fall and winter oh shit you guys this is too crazy forgot i got this scarf the other day and i'm kind of obsessed with it with this jacket the greens obviously don't match but i could wear it with my uggs kind of a look but again it's not going to be super cold so I feel like I might not be able to wear the scarf. And I had an outfit planned in my head with a scarf that didn't involve the brown coat. But why is the green and brown kind of a vibe together? Okay, next we have the striped sweater um, that I got from Zara a little bit ago. With I paired with my little mini ultra mini Uggs. And then I have jeans on. Originally had thought that I was going to do this with a black mini skirt with little black tights. Which I could still do. But I'm just like too hot to put that on right now. And I actually don't even have my tights at school with me i have them at home now so i could always bring the tights and the skirt um and then have the jeans as a backup but i feel like the uggs pair better with the outfit than the tennis shoes did so and then i also have hold on and then i have a black leather blazer that i was going to put on with it originally but like i said it's literally not going to be cold and i'm like i would be really hot in this if it was just 60 degree weather like this is like a heavy duty sweater and then it's like a heavy leather jacket but yeah the blazer looks really cute with it too with my uggs black bag hold on I'm hoping this vlog is up before i leave but i feel like i'm going to be pretty behind on my editing so this is probably going to be up while i'm there um but hopefully i have it figured out by then and i'm going to shop a little bit there so maybe i'll find some um outfits to wear if i don't have enough that i'm planning right now but I should because I have plenty of clothes. And this is kind of just a safe outfit with jeans and the same shoes. I can also wear my Uggs with this. I feel like you can never go wrong with a sweater. And this would be good on a day again where it's not super cold outside. But it's kind of chilly because this sweater is like very heavy and comfy. I don't know. I didn't buy a ton of new things for this trip just because I don't, I don't need to. And I'm trying to use things in my closet that I already have for trips. Because in the past I would be like... Oh, I'm going on a trip. I need to buy like five new outfits where that's not realistic. I can just wear what I have in my closet. So this is a good option. We're going to be there for three full days. And then the night that we get there, I'll need an outfit. So I have two solid outfits. And then I think I'm going to try on the blazer and my skirt and just kind of envision what the tights will look like with it. And then, and then I'll show you guys after I do that. Okay, you guys, I think I definitely like this one. I need to lower you to see the whole outfit i think i definitely like this one a lot with the knee-high boots outfit i feel like this is a really good 
solid outfit again it's all black and then a pop of color and i like this skirt to mix it up because all of my other outfits have my jeans so i kind of want to mix it up with the skirt i can always put the tights on if i want more of like a whole black and i actually probably will put the tights on but my mom might be like it's gonna be too warm still there so we'll see but i love this i have my little skims short sleeve little black skirt leather blazer from zara and then a little scarf that I got from Target the other day I showed you. So, really cute outfit. I was not sure if this one was gonna come together. Like I wanted it to, but it's really cute, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have three solid outfits, which is good, because like I was saying, I only have three full days and then just the night. So any of these could be for the nighttime and I could even just do like leggings or something for the night that we get there, because I might be kind of tired anyway. So yeah, super cute. I hope you like this little style with me. And definitely comment down below if you want me to do more styling videos. I love styling outfits for any occasion. It's probably my favorite thing ever. So if you want like a styling for holiday outfits or anything like that, I will definitely do that for you guys if you are wanting that because I love it. And I feel like recently, I don't know if this is just me, but a lot of the YouTube girls that I've been following for a long time that I absolutely love, they are doing hauls and like styling videos, but the options that they're showing aren't super affordable to everyone and I've even been seeing comments from people on their videos as well just saying you know could you do a haul or a styling video with more affordable pieces and I always want to be that channel for you guys because I know not everyone can afford getting like Revolve for every outfit like I love Revolve and I love their pieces but it's just not attainable for the average person so if you guys are wanting to see more styling videos with more affordable brands and please let me know because I am with you I'm kind of wanting to see that as well on like the girls channels that I love watching so just let me know your thoughts comment down below I'm gonna take all this off because I'm sweating and I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill for a little bit and then I'm gonna go home so and then I'm probably gonna end off this video because it was only supposed to be a day in my life and now I already know it's gonna be like a 40 minute video which I'm trying to stay away from but I just love talking to you guys, so I can't help it. <laughs>